Hi everyone, this is the fourth week and this is my fourth vlog already. Today's vlog has to focus on something that I read and it's by Werner Vinge and it's called True Names. Basically what True Names was about, to me that I picked up on, was always um, different realities and it, it seems like uh, these realities can be consuming. So when I was reading uh, the story True Names by Werner Vinge, if that is his real name, you had different code names for different things. In this case, the hackers, or the people who would be on the other plane, which is the online server that everyone seems to be hacking, the hackers would be called warlocks. Each uh, person or each per or warlock had a code name, and the one that we focused on in the story was called Mr. Slippery. And it starts off with Mr. Slippery getting um, discovered by the great adversary, which is the government. And you can already tell just by like um, how many things are just layered and um, context of other stuff referring to other things, the story can get pretty crazy. And it does. Basically it's uh, two different realities, the real world and the artificial realities, merging together and how those um, chaotic forces create this gray area of destruction. The whole time I was reading this, I kept getting this uh, transcendence vibe. The movie, uh, the one that has Johnny Depp in it, which is like another movie by Johnny Depp, so, you know. but. What I mean by that is these two stories, Transcendence and True Names, play off the same kind of storyline. Transcendence, it's two professors devoting all their research and time into making this perfect AI. Johnny Depp's character, which is Will Carter, I think, dies into uh, being uploaded as an AI. And now you give sympathy and human emotion to something that is artificial that wouldn't have understood um, human feeling. So in uh, Werner Vinge's story in True Names, uh, Mr. Slippy had to join forces with another warlock or another hacker in order to save the world. And he goes visits this hacker after like 10 years have passed. So once he's there, he goes all the way across like Rhode Island or something like that. And he uh, talks with the, the old lady who's the, the warlock. And her body is becoming uploaded into the enemy that they were fighting, the mailman. Which, is, long story, is another uh, AI a program that was made up by the military and they just destroyed it or that's what they thought but then she's using it as a way to keep herself alive so she's uploading herself into the enemy and giving the AI herself and then she mentions to Roger Pollock she tells him that even though my being is gone um, when my body has left the earth you can still find me I will still be here uh, not in that exact way, but basically it's just saying, even though I'm gone, um, my uploaded version of myself is still here ready to talk with you. Which is like, nah! But Transcendence is the same thing. We're not gonna fight them. We're gonna transcend them. And you, you can tell, I mean, this is, it's not really that trippy, but it's just like, messed up. Uh, these things can happen now, because these two realities mixing in is a very dangerous thing because once you have two powers generally divided by decisions because we give the computers decisions whereas the computers assist us in our decision making but then when you combine those two things together um, that's when terrible things happen and for some reason we just seem to always want to uh, explore that even more like Jurassic World like how far can we take this and then once we mess up we're like oh damn we maybe we shouldn't have done that okay so how that connects with what I'm about to tell you right now, uh, I don't know. But I'll probably think of it as the video continues. But anyways, I'll show you guys what I'm about to present to y'all. And we're revisiting third grade. Um, not stories this time, but poetry. So I'll show it to the camera. Um, as you see, portraits. Portraits of myself again. It's a recurring theme, it seems like. But I guess how this relates to the subject that I was just talking about is maybe by the different reality aspect of it. Because this is, isn't uh, entirely made up of all my poems. Uh, these have my classmates' poems and one of my poems in here as well. But maybe that's something we can experiment with. I'm going to be reading three different poems. At the end of all three of the poems, I'm going to let you guys try to guess which one is something that I wrote. And then I'll share which of the other two was written by the other people. And you guys might know them too. Or not. Whatever. Okay, let's get to it. This one is called Ice Cream. And this is poem number one. So try to see if this one is something that I wrote. And we have two more to go after this. Ice cream, ice cream, why are you sad? Because you are crying really bad. Ice cream, ice cream, please don't cry. You will melt into a big blob of ice cream and you will be sad. Ice cream, ice cream, please don't cry. I will 
eat you for my supper surprise. Don't cry, for I won't see you smiling at me. Now let's take you home and put you in the freezer so you can come back together and you and I can play together again. Poem number one. Let's go to poem number two. This one, as mad as fire. I was mad as a fire burning down my house. I was as mad as an earth quiet, ready to break everything. I was ready to explode into tiny pieces. That's number two. Do you think I wrote that one? I don't know. Last one, poem number three, homework. Homework, haunting you at night, howling. Till morning comes, worried if it's right or wrong. If you get it right, hooray. But if it's wrong, the homework will haunt you. Away and away, you. So which one do you think was something that I wrote? In this case, you the great adversaries, the government. Can you guys expose my true identity with the poems that I just shared? Which one is my true identity? And which, out of, and which other two is the fake ones? I'll give you guys a quick second. Great. Well, I hope you guys figured it out. So the one that contains my true identity, or is the correct poem that I wrote, is number three. Number three, Homework by Han Eckelberg. The other two poems, number one, is written by Eddie Jenkins, Ice Cream. And the second one is by Tong Mai, As Mad As Fire. Those are my good buddies. And uh, I hope you guys are okay with this because I just shared your stories. Yeah! What friends are for? Yeah! And now I also get a good grade out of this, so win-win. Thanks, you guys. And thanks to everyone who's watching this right now. That completes number four. Um, so just to summarize it again, two different realities, one trying to play off a different reality, but when those two things kind of mix, or if they get exposed, the truth is told, um, what, what happens? And thanks for playing this little game with me or whatever this was. Um, but that is my response to this week's story. So, yeah. Thank you.